Hey y'all, I'm Haley, co-founder of Flyball. Today, we're going to go over how to set up, play, and disassemble Flyball, as well as a few tips to get you started. First, take everything out of the bag. On a flat surface, slide the ramp sides onto the ramp top one at a time. It might help to lightly hold the ramp top in place with a foot or a knee. Try to push it on as tight as you can from both the top as well as the sides. Next, you'll want to take the four edge supports and slide them along both sides of the ramp top. The skinny side, as shown, should be pointing down. Again, make sure the pieces are fit snugly onto the ramp top. Finally, take your target rings and place them pointing towards the ramp, about three to four feet away or three target ring lengths away. And just like that, you're ready to play. Playing flyball is super easy. If you have played any other outdoor games, you will probably be familiar with the rules. First, each player picks their color. Then, they take turns standing behind the front of the ramp and rolling all three balls up the ramp and towards the target rings. After both players have rolled all their balls for the round, it's time to check the scores. The largest ring is one point, the middle is two, and the smallest ring is three points. Any balls that land outside the rings are no points. Once you have the two scores for the round, subtract the lower of the two scores from the higher score, and the player with the highest score for the round is awarded the remaining points. For example, in this round, the peach team scored two points and the teal team scored three. For this round, teal gets one point added to their total score. Whoever scored points last will go first in the next round, so teal team is up. Repeat until one player reaches 21, and then that player is the winner. Of course, there are an endless number of ways to play flyball. From house rules to party rules, we love it all. The only real rule is to have a blast. Here are a few quick tips to get you up and playing and crushing the game right away. Tip number one, do your best to find a nice flat surface to play. Tip number two, if you're having too many points bounce out, you can add something like sand inside the rings to kill the bounce. Tip number three, one of the best ways to get started is to move the target rings closer to the end of the ramp. Start maybe a foot or two away, and once you start getting comfortable and scoring points, you can move it further and further away. Tip number four, lower the angle that you release the ball. I like to kind of crouch while I'm rolling, but you could also roll from farther back or on one knee or even sitting in a chair. Now that you are done dominating the competition, it's time to put your game away. Remove the ramp sides and side supports from the ramp top. You can leave the front and back side supports on. Place the four side supports and six balls back into the small bag. Then take the ramp top and roll it up a bit smaller than the size of the large bag. About like this. Place it into the big bag. It is important that this is the first part to go into the bag. Next. Place the two ramp sides into the bag, followed by the small bag, and then the target rings. Cinch up the bag and you are ready to roll. All right, y'all, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining the Flyball family. We are so grateful to have you. See you out there.